Hey, howdy, hello. It's here. You may or may not have noticed in the corner of the previous video that this little thing was sitting. Yeah, it, it was it was already here. I just needed some time to, to get to it. So here we are. I even burst it open just to make sure because I, I was I was waiting a long time. And there it is. This is the official pressing. It was officially restocked on the Frank Ocean web store. It sold out in an hour. I don't know how in the world I saw it because I always miss restocks. It arrived wow. safely. Corner dings. I can live with that. In the shrink. Blonde 2022. I still kind of can't believe this as I'm looking at this now. For a lot of reasons, just knowing how legendary um, finding a copy of this is, just knowing how much the originals go for, just knowing how many bootlegs have popped up over the years. I mean, I'm already feeling like how sturdy this is. It feels like it's well done. People have been saying it's well done. We've been talking about it for weeks. Time to get the X-Acto knife out and listen. One A, one B, and the blonde wrap. This <laughs> looks super clean. Just a couple seam splits on the inner. I was expecting that. I mean, <sighs> incredibly clean. I'll wet clean it later, but for now, I'm curious too, because a lot of these from the factory start collecting, you'll start realizing that the the hole uh, won't be big enough to fit on the spindle of your turntable. And I do have a solution for that. And there's, there's some DIY ones too, but I have a more official one. So I'm gonna give it the test and make sure it does fit. I'm gonna set this gently down here. The spindle test. It does not pass the spindle test. It is not on and I will fix that. This is a very common thing. Don't panic. Is it disappointing? It is, but it's a common thing. It happens with most records I buy nowadays. Um, the solution involves what's called a center hole reamer. They make these. Whoa, oh, it's getting stuck. It's scary because it will, because even if it's just slightly, you put it on and it'll, it'll sort of lock itself into the spindle, but all you have to do is take your center hole reamer that's been exactly designed. This company in Canada makes these particular ones with the walnut top. And it just goes straight on top. It's gonna fit in a little bit tight and you just give it a couple turns. That's just clearing out that little teensy bit. Can't even see it. But all of a sudden, after I do that little do these on the most expensive records in my collection or the cheapest ones. It doesn't matter. Boom. Spindle test complete. Then <laughs> you grab the bottom part with just a little magnet that connects to the top part of this. And it goes back over here. We're done. I'm going to put these into new inner sleeves because I don't want to put it back into this. I want to keep this as mint as possible. So these are going in inner sleeves. And it's going to be anti-static so that it will not <laughs> will not scuff or scratch up this beautiful, rare, blonde pressing. The cabinet of inner sleeves and outer sleeves that I use for any new records. These are particularly from Vinyl Storage Solution. The bigger, the thicker, the better. Three mil. They will not scratch your record as long as they weren't previously dirty had crap in incredibly them. helpful for anti-static reasons preservation yeah future proofing your vinyl this is just the best way to do it it's my favorite company especially if you're near the us or north america and in a minute i'll show you their outer sleeves which i put everything in so let's open up just grabbing it out for now yeah more even worse edge splits but that's totally fine and acceptable once again and what I'm doing to get this out, just in case there's a little extra static, pushing it with force against the surface just to free it open. And then gently, without scratching, just sliding it out with as little resistance as possible and safely putting that away. 
This is disc two with sides C and D. I'm looking for hairlines. I don't see it. Looks flat to me. A little <laughs> dustier side. This one has a little tiny hairline right at the edge. Can't even really see it. Uh, pretty much going to be perfectly playable. Uh, maybe a couple other hairlines. I don't think it's going to affect play. C and D. <laughs> it's here, guys. It's time to spin it to the inner sleeve until we get it ready. Ooh, the poster. We got to do the poster, too. Very cool. Beautiful green and yellow gradient. Got some tracks right there on the top. Hey. Beautiful lyrics. I love that. That's almost cardstock, a little bit thinner than cardstock paper. It was great with the color scheme. Oh, beautiful. Let's see if we can get that poster as well. That was the lyrics insert. There it is. Incredible. Great condition. This is going in its own sleeve too. You're starting to see it. Oh, oh, oh. On the inside spread and this, the outside spread. Beautiful Frank. Love it. <laughs> Definitely want to preserve that. Just going to check and make sure there's nothing else hiding. Yeah, looks good on that. Looks good on that. Let's go ahead and see the inside spread of the jacket now. Yeah, I'm going to take the shrink off. Ooh, that sound. Oh! <laughs> Perfect seams. Super thick. Nice packaging. Smells really nice, too. Oh, proud to own this. Got a little bit of sheen. On that, a little bit of gloss. Great print. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. A little bit of emboss of, uh, yeah, yeah, it feels embossed. Oh, it's so nice. All right, we got to give it a spin. Then we're going to come back and just kind of box this up and put it back on the shelf. I'll show you how I do it. <laughs> Here it is. Great Ocean Blonde going on. Ooh. Incredible. It's flat, quiet, dynamic. It really does let the music shine. It's just good. It is ridiculously quiet. It's unbelievable. Right now, it doesn't even feel like listening to vinyl. And I haven't even cleaned it yet. It's so good. Side beep. Turn it up. It sounds so good that the little ticks that hit are so in the background that it feels like the music. It's it's that good. Crystal clear treble, 
excellent yeah, resounding yeah. bass. Transition so cool. I forgot about so many little details that this is just pulling right out so beautifully. Yep, perfect. A little bit of static, but as you can see, grab the cork slip mat as well. The slip mat's made of cork and rubber. It's like a hybrid combo, also from Vinyl Storage Solutions, the special edition one. Don't know if it's in stock. It was. It's been in and out of stock. It's really cool um, for resonances, too, and for static. It's pretty good. I love it. Just as a note, now that I'm putting it on the platter, it's not perfectly level, but it. <laughs> my guess is it's still going to be perfectly playable. It, for instances where it is really warped or really not flat, I'll use this clamp, and I can just press it right on top. Push it down with two sure fingers until it's issue. flat and tighten the top. Side C. So cool. incredible. Man. I'm I'm already at side C and it's made my day. So here we go with side D. Unbelievable. Blonde. Amazing piece. Let's box it up. I'll make a little table. We'll put this together and show you how I do it. The table is prepared for you. All right. Um, I remember my two sleeves that the gatefold goes in each panel of it. I already have the records in the inner sleeves. So we'll set those aside. The inners in a thing to protect them. And the poster and lyrics in a thing to protect them. See the jacket, beautiful gatefold. These have two pockets. So this pocket, perfect fit. Also has a pocket to put the record in or the lyric inserts, posters, whatever. This is the sticky adhesive strip, which will attach to the edge of this. I'm just sticking the long edge side of this all the way in so that it can match up with this sticky adhesive. Right there, down the middle, fold it across, perfectly sealed. Then on this back side, this has another strip of adhesive. Straight off, now two strips. And I'm doing this folded flat so that I know it matches up, pressing that in symmetrically. Now, so I grabbed a multifunctional 
it's just one single pocket two strips of adhesive on the side both will be folded in and sealed those will go in there you know why even put inner sleeves in a resealable well everything affects value if you're talking about something that's a long-term uh, artifact you want to make sure every component of it is kept as mint as possible and I value the investment and the money that I put in it but the work and the effort that was put in by the artist it's not going to perfectly fit inside this pocket unless this edge is gently folded in crease the edge right there on the bottom the plastic is very tight in there then I'm going to put a record in between. That's the one pocket. Now, if I wanted to go overboard and wanted to pull out the poster, what I could do is take two of these multifunctions, stick them together lengthwise. All I care about is preserving it because I'm not going to pull it up, put it on my wall, anything like that. This is a very rare artifact, and I respect that. So I'm just going to peel this back and seal it up. And then in this pocket, this edge with the plastic creased. All the way down. Easy access if I need it. Folds flat. Just push a little bit of that air out, careful. That's gonna protect it from ring wear that happens around the edge. When it's stored inside the jacket, it's going to protect it from dust or anything that could get in here and affect it. You know, it would be better to seal this edge as well if I wanted to, because dust will get in it. But that's not something I'm really worried about. A little bit of dust is not going to really affect it long term. Oh, I also forgot a little green accepted sticker. I'm going to have to stick it in here somewhere. I might as well just stick it. Back behind there. Yeah, it's pretty much in there. I think we're good to go. What a great little journey we just went on. From seeing the restock notification to owning the record, playing it, reacting to it. What a beautiful piece of art. I'm happy to have it. Pretty much everything that needs to be said about this. Uh, not everything that needs to be said. I have so many videos I need to make. Um, by the way, you liking the new setup? This is a little bit of a new design and lighting setup going. For one thing, I have vinyl shootouts. I have every pressing of LS Dunes past lives ready to record. Got every pressing of Wilco's Yankee Hotel Foxtrot. They just did a repress of it uh, just a few months ago now. And I'm going to talk about Phoebe Bridger's Stranger in the Alps. We're going to talk about Boy Genius when it comes, the new record, the vinyl. Stick around for some new music talks when, when new things pop up that we need to discuss. Be looking for collaborations. There's so many great people in the vinyl community who've been reaching out, and uh, I think we all have a lot to say. And I just want to give a voice to those because it is so great, and there's so many amazing things going on that we need. We need to share in together. Keep doing you. You're doing great. And uh, yeah, keep on grooving your way.